hello there, Cubbies. It is wonderful to see all of your wonderful faces this week. We have two friends here today. Cubby Bear. Miss Katie Colley. And I'm Miss Dawn. And I'm Miss Jessica. It's so good to see you guys again. We have a wonderful story to read you today. The letter for this week is C. Do you know what C stands for? C stands for a lot of things, but this week it's going to stand for a couple things that we have in the story and also for Christ. If you all have your handbook and you would like to pull it out, we're going to read this story and it is on page 10. Timothy opened up his honeycomb handbook and this time he saw a C. He dashed outside to find Mr. Cubby Bear. Cubby rubbed his tummy. Do you know what starts with a T? Timmy says. He says, I'm thinking of a snack right now, Mr. Cubby says. Is it cupcakes? Cookies? Carrots? Timothy laughed and he said, no, Cubby. A sweet and chewy comb? That doesn't make sense. Can you eat a comb? A comb, said Timothy. You mean the comb I cu that I comb my hair with? No, silly, said Cubby. A honeycomb. A honeycomb is what bees make. They build us in their hives and they fill them with honey. Yum! Cubby and Timothy set off to find a beehive. Ruff, ruff! Katie Colley says, no, she ran after them and says, you should stay away from beehives because you can get stung. Don't worry, Katie. That's what Mr. Cubby says. Don't worry. I think the bees are away visiting flowers today. Well, let's hope so. So Cubby and Timothy tiptoed to a hive. And real quiet, just in case the bees are there. And they took a big sniff. Mmm, I love the smell of honeycomb. And then all of a sudden, zzzz, Cubby gets stung on the nose. Ouch. 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 I bet you that hurt. Let's go, said Timothy. The bees are home and they look mad. <laughs> Cubby and Timothy ran all the way to the bakery. The bakery? They pushed open the door and then they got an ice pack from from Cubby, uh, to put on Cubby's nose so that he would feel better. I wish we had listened to Katie Colley, said Timothy. Me too, said Cubby. His nose is all sore. And so they, in the bakery, they, they, were, they met with Grammy, who was drizzling honey on apples. Ooh, that sounds good, but you know what Timothy said? Oh no, honey, Cubby yelled. Is there a beehive here? Because he's scared. He doesn't want to get stung anywhere again. And Timothy laughed and said, no, Grammy gets the honey from a jar. Much easier that way. I know something else that starts with a C. Do y'all know? Cubby. Cubby starts with a C. And do you know what they said? Cubby, you are my very best friend. Even though we get in trouble sometimes, you are still my best friend. And they smiled and they ran off and popped some more of those yummy apples into their mouth. Yummy, yummy, Tight. yummy. Oh my See you goodness. later, Miss Collie and Mr. Cubby. Bye, Collie and Cubby. I hope you all enjoyed that story. And now we're going to hear from Miss Jessica. She's going to tell a beautiful story from Ooh. her Bible. And it yeah. begins with a C as well. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. I will clap my hands and sing that Jesus is alive. Katie Collie loves Cubby Bear so much, you guys, even though Cubby Bear did not listen to her when she said, don't go to the beehive. You guys have lots of people who love you, too. Do you know who loves you all the time? Can you guys think of anyone? Like maybe your parents? Or your grandparents? Your or your friends? brothers or your sisters? Well, guess what? Don and I know someone who loves you even more than any of those people or more than anyone else in the whole world. Do you know who it is? Ding, ding. Guess, guess who it's it is? Christ. It's Christ Jesus loves us and all God. the time. He loves us all the time and he loves us more than anybody. So we are going to learn more about his love in our very special book. Do you guys remember what this special book is called? Bible. And in the Bible, God tells us about his love for us and his stories in the Bible are real and true. And so we are going to learn a verse from the Bible, one that we learned last week in Romans 3.23. And you guys see the letter right here on this, on this card? A is for all. All have sinned. Does anybody remember what sin is? 
It is anything we think, say, or do that disobeys God. And we've all done things that disobey God. And so last week we learned that A is for all. All have sinned. But guess what? God's story doesn't stop there. He said, because we all have sinned, and we all deserve to be punished by God. What does being punished mean? That's another big word. Being punished is when we get in big, big trouble because of bad things that we do. And you guys, the punishment for sin is death. But God loves us so, so very much. He chose to do something about that so that we didn't have to die. He said, I'm going to send my son Jesus, my very own son, and I'm going to send my son Jesus, and this is Jesus being born. Can you guys think about when we celebrate Jesus being born? On Christmas. Isn't that cool? So God sent his son Jesus, and Jesus lived a life. Of, he was a tiny, tiny baby, and he was born in a manger, and he grew up to be a boy. And when he was a boy, he went to the temple, and he learned about who God was, even though he is God. And he even taught some of the teachers in the temple about God. That's amazing. Isn't that cool? And then Jesus never even disobeyed his parents, not even once. Wow. Jesus never sinned. He never did anything that was thinking, saying, or doing anything against God. And so he grew up all the way into a man, and he showed love to all people, oldest grandmas and mommies and daddies and tiniest babies, and he was so happy to have children he with him. He was amazing, Jessica. He was so cool. And do you guys know what he actually did? He sent his son, God sent his son Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. So he got punished for all of our sins so that we didn't have to be punished. Can you guys see this cross right here? It kind of looks like a T. And then you can see our letter C that stands for Christ. Christ died for us. You guys, you can make a C with your hand too. Can you make a C like that? And this teaches us our verse for this week. C is for Christ. Christ died for us. After Jesus died, you guys, his friends put his body in a tomb that was like a cave. I don't know if we have that here. And he rose again on the third day. Can you do that with me? One, two, three. <laughs> Jesus is alive, Jesus is alive. I will clap my hands and sing that Jesus is alive. And I am so glad that that was not the end of our story, that he rose again. And guess what? After he rose again, he even appeared to some of his friends. And in this picture, you can see him showing his hands where he had nails from the cross in. And he is alive. He's alive, you guys. Isn't that amazing? All of his friends praise Jesus because he's alive. And soon after being alive, it was time for him to go back up to his father in heaven. And he promised to come back and take us to heaven one day too. So we are going to love and serve Jesus while we're here on earth and continue to love and serve him one day in heaven. Isn't that amazing? This is a wonderful story. And you guys, this is a wonderful, beautiful story of Christ's love for us. And it, it's a kind of a hard story. There's some hard things in here. So if you guys have any questions for your parents or for Miss Jessica and Miss Dawn, we're happy to talk to you about this wonderful story, okay? So we're going to say our verse one more time. C, C is, is for, for Christ. Christ. Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. So ready? C is, C is for, for Christ. Christ. Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. And you guys, we are getting so excited to see you again next time. And we hope you work very hard on your verses. We can't wait to hear them out loud. But please don't forget that you can talk to your parents or Miss Dawn about any questions you have about this story. Okay? We have a song we want to share with you about Jesus raising from the dead. So remember how we told you Jesus died on the cross and then he was buried in a tomb for one, two, three days and then he rose again. He's alive. So we're going to teach you a song about Jesus being alive. So you got to have your clapping hands with us, okay? Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. I will clap my hands and sing that Jesus is alive. Are you guys ready for one more try? Let's do it. Are you ready? One, 
two, three. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. I will clap my hands and sing if Jesus is alive. Yay, Yay. Callies! Thank you so much. So we can't wait to see you next week. Next week is what theme, Miss Dawn? It is Avengers theme. Oh, so you guys can dress up like a superhero. We can't wait to see your superhero costumes. Love you guys, Cubby Bears. See y'all later. Bye.